So in our backend, the first thing we need to do is to add the packages that we want to use. So say add packages. The package we're going to need const and we need the express. This is going to be equal to require. And we'll open close parentheses and we want to include express. Then we say const body parser is equals and we say require and we are going to require body dash parser. And the last thing is we need to get a hold of our in, uh, stripe. So say var stripe is equals to require and we're going to require our stripe. And then we need to provide our secret key here. And remember that our secret key is located in our Stripe dashboard. So just quickly go to your dashboard, go to the developer, API keys, click on reveal. If it's not there, just use my fingerprint to get access to it. Control C and we're going to paste it here. So this is my secret. Uh, remember, you need to get the secret, not the, not the public, all right? So because the public goes to our front end and the secret goes to our back end. So once we have our Stripe set, we are going to create uh, the express here. So we'll say const express, uh, actually, no, so const app equals express. And then we say app dot use, and we want to use our body parser. Dot JSON. Okay, and finally we say app dot get. Open close parentheses, and we're going to put our forward slash here put comma and say function require, let's call this rec and response. So this is the request and response basically. And we're going to open and close curly braces. And in order to understand if our backend is running, we're going to put a like print statement here. I'm going to say res.send and let's just say hello iOS dev school. And underneath, I'm going to say app dot listen. And we're going to say 3000, comma, and let's just say equals. And here we are going to say console and let's just put information uh, what we're going to do say uh, local host running on port 3000 command S to save this file. And let's go to our terminal here. Let me just find it. And what we're going to say is not index.js. And make sure before you do this, you have to be in the folder location where your index.js file is. So now uh, when we did, it says localhost running on port 3000. So it means our application, our localhost is running. So if I go to localhost and port 3000 on my uh, the, on my Safari, or if you want, if you are using a Chrome, you are going to see the local uh, the this print hello iOS Dev School.
So I see I'm on localhost 3000 and says hello iOS dev school, which is the code here that it runs. So what we know now that our first of all, our local uh, backend is running as a server on port 3000. And then we just printed this out and we are notified that our uh, server is running properly. So we can now write the code that will process our payment, which will be done in our next class.